What's up peeps, here's that video y'all have been asking for. I finally took some time to put this video together here uh, demonstrating how you could run GMS on your Android device. Now I know a lot of you are familiar with MapleStory M, but you know, fortunately it didn't satisfy a lot of us. It wasn't what we expected. Well, now here it is. Here's a chance for you guys to run the actual GMS whenever you want, wherever you want. From personal experience, I actually find that using this setup here actually runs uh, a lot smoother than that of MapleStory M. That is, of course, if you do achieve some high internet speeds on your uh, mobile device. Um, for some reason, I, I find that MapleStory M feels a little choppy, you know, especially in between skills and between mobility skills and such. But here, everything just seems to run a lot more uh, smoother. Than Something important that I like to point out is that the uh, quality of your gameplay is going to depend a lot on your setup. So if you have a really good Android device with um, some good 4G LTE speeds then you're going to get something like this right here. Now during these boss fights here, these Rutabis bosses, I was doing about you know 40 to 60 megabytes down on my 4G LTE network. Um, but you could play it with you know slower speeds. Um, it's when you start hitting like five megabytes and below that you're gonna you know see some unbearable um, results you know you're gonna be lagging like crazy it's gonna get choppy the audio is not even gonna work be worth to have it on because it's gonna be like in and out in and out and it's just just might as well just shut it off you know so yeah if you got a good phone and a good internet speeds you know you're good you're good to go um, as you can see here it is possible to boss, you know, but as I've been demonstrating, all these bosses here are actually rather easy for me. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing bosses like uh, like Will and you know Lucid and all those crazy ass bosses because as fast as your internet gets, you know, even if you have like you know top of the line internet, I notice that there's still that split second uh, delay, a split second latency, you know, and a split second is all it takes for. Uh, for you to wipe or uh, to die in a boss fight, you know, there's some some bosses where a split second is very crucial. You just gotta be on top of it. You know what I'm saying? Another cool thing to point out about this setup is that it does support Bluetooth mouse and keyboard input. So if you got yourself one of those devices, go ahead and plug it in, and you know it'll give you that feel as if you're playing it on your uh, on your PC, whether you're at home or whatever. But here, you know, I've actually seen some uh, keyboards some some bluetooth keyboards that sell on amazon for like 30 to 50 bucks that actually uh, it's a two-in-one combo it's a, a keyboard and it has a little touchpad attached to it and it actually folds so that little thing you could actually fit it in your back pocket so if you want you know you could just bust it out prop your phone up somewhere and and you know you're good to go you could game on just like you would at home in front of your pc except with a smaller display of course Another cool thing to note is that this setup here actually does allow uh, multi-touch input. And, uh, this is good for those classes out there that do require a third skill input, like my son on, you know, his whip blade and like his laser blast right here, which I'm actually charging right now with my right index finger. Um, it's also cool to know that after you touch that skill, 
you know, he'll begin, you know, using the whip blade or charging the laser blast. And I could actually slide my finger anywhere on the display. Now, you know, I could have moved it up on the top right to a more comfortable position. That way my thumbs are more uh, free to move about the display and use all the other skills. In case you all have been wondering, this is actually the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 that I've been using. It is a you know rather new device, not too old, and it has a large display. Uh, display size is something that you do want to consider when using the setup because you are going to be cramming a lot of skills onto your display. Even though I'll admit, after a while, you know, of using the setup, you know, once you become familiar with your controls, uh, those circles ain't going to be as annoying. They're they're going to be like it's like they're not even there that's pretty much what i'm trying to say i mean they are transparent it's really just a little little white you know ring around the circles that that's visible For the next few minutes here, I'm going to demonstrate how I mapped my keys onto the display here. Now, these uh, keys, they're fully customizable. You could choose as many as you like. You could size them down to, um, you know, as small as they are here to as big as the uh, the space seen in the bottom right. That space, space circle is actually my jump. Um, you could overlap them. You know, as you've seen, I overlapped the uh, ones on the top left. Um, I did a little bit of overlapping. Uh, just about everywhere. Um, keep in mind though, overlapping will make your display look less cluttered, but if you start to overlap too many skills, it may become difficult for you to use them, you know, especially when you're out there uh, in combat uh, training or fighting bosses, and you know, that's, especially during bosses, that's when you don't want your, uh, your skills to be difficult to use. good thing to do is to try to macro as many skills as you can so it'll help reduce the uh, amount of circles you have to have on the display. Another good thing to do to improve your gaming experience is to enlarge certain uh, keys uh, more than others. For example, the uh, D-pad on the left side that's actually maxed out. I made it nice and large so I could move about easily. The big circle on the bottom right, that space, that's actually my jump. The big circles surrounding that one are my most used skills, attack skills and mobility skills. And then the outer ring, the smaller skills, those are my summons, uh, toggle wands and uh, certain skills that I don't use too much. Something that will greatly increase your uh, experience using this setup is to have your enter key and your interaction key next to each other and somewhere where they are easily accessible. Now this will make it so that you don't have to be uh, tapping on the display, you know, trying to tap on that, that tiny little confirm or, or yes or whatever it is you got to tap on. 
so interacting with uh, certain NPCs or game prompts will be a lot easier because all you got to do is tap on the uh, circle whether it's enter or interact and believe me it's gonna make a world of a difference another trick you can use to interact with the game a lot easier is the bench to zoom as you just seen there and there's a cool little trick that you're about to see here now take a look here as you can see uh, most of the uh, circles that were on my display are now gone there's only some on the left side and right side which are my you know my movement keys my jump keys and my inventory bags and skills and you know that kind of stuff now usually I toggle in to this layout here which is actually done very easily and quickly when I'm dealing with things like the cash shop the auction house um, when I'm going through my bags when I'm upgrading my character's gear you know like you know star forcing and stuff like that um, you know when I when I don't want stuff the uh, circles to be in my way uh, in other words like when I'm not killing stuff that's basically when I switch into this layout right here and once I'm done with it I could actually just toggle right back into my my combat so to speak a uh, layout where you know all the circles pop up again no doubt as you guys have seen uh, the game has been running very smooth this whole time but just just to show you guys i'm gonna do this quick little uh, stress test so to speak now i took uh, my character here to uh, what i believe is one of the most laggiest places in uh in the game which is the uh, legion boss fight now as you can see here you know i'm in there everything's running smooth you know there's you know there ain't nothing freezing up skills are working properly and um just to push things even further here as you can see I'm going to switch my uh, game's um, resolution to the maximum setting now I'm taking it from 12, uh, 1287 20 to 1920 1080 resolution now, even with the maximum resolution set and um, the maximum graphic settings as you can see here there's still zero lag you know I'm just jumping about you know killing the bad guys and using my skills and um, no jitters, nothing at all. The reason why I don't always play a 1920 by 1080 is because it makes everything way too small. I mean, things are already small as it is because, well, we're playing on a freaking smartphone here. So you don't want to make things even smaller. Another cool thing about this setup here is that you can actually run multiple apps at the same time. As you can see here, I'm actually dragging around this YouTube video. You know, I can place it wherever I want. Um, the audio you're hearing right now is actually from that YouTube video, and um, this is actually pretty damn cool um, because you know, playing MapleStory, as we all know, can become very boring, especially when you're grinding away when you're training. So this gives you the option to pop up a YouTube video and even a Netflix Netflix video because I believe it also gives you that option to run it in a box just like this one right here. Um, as you see right here, I actually just switched into uh, MapleStory M, which is actually running in the background and now it's you know, in the foreground and you know, just showing the game a little more, give it a few seconds in the spotlight. Um, once I'm done with that, just easily um, you know, swipe to the left and get right back into uh, you know, GMS and continue with that game. Alright peeps, well this concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Once again, this was just a video demonstration or a uh, teaser if you want to call it. But um, depending on how things go in the future, I may make a part two showing you guys how you can do this yourselves. Alright, peace out.